What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and just another quick little Halloween video here today as we get into the mood with the Halloween campaign. Listen, small victories lads. We do get another free player and this guy is quite a beast, right? Especially if you're starting off. A lot of this content now that they're adding is aimed at newcomers and it is aimed at people getting a kind of an entry point into it. So this is just a login bonus on the 28th of October, which is today. You will also be getting the Licked, which will come on Halloween night and Halloween day, which will be the 31st of October, right? So all you have to do is log in, get Limer from the inbox, and then you will sign him as such here. Um, and yeah, I mean, listen, he's not a bad card, man. He's not a bad card at all. He's an 82 rated center midfielder. We'll get into his card here now in a second as we take a look at it with 26 levels. It's not the worst card in the world. I do think that he's got some really nice um, player skills. He does have one touch pass. He does have interception, man marking and sliding tackle and fighting spirit. I'll definitely give this guy a go. Low lofted pass. I would say that his standard card and he was featured on one of my center midfielder uh, videos. He's definitely one of the most underrated cards in the game, right? Now, whether or not this card actually excels a little bit more than his standard card we will check that out in just a second but for now i do think that he is a really really nice card right so we're going to actually head over to eFootballDB.com, and we're going to take a look at this guy's card right now he's down in here as an 82 center midfielder he does have a max rating over on here as a 93 center midfielder now we're going to max out his level here at 26 because these levels still need to be upgraded obviously because the players are being added to the database uh every three days or whatever but that gives us 50 progression points right he's also part of this pack we already featured tell um if you've missed that video you can check that out we have featured tell there and delict as i said a 96 rated version of delict which looks pretty beastly he will come on the 31st of october right so how would i train limer right well in the last video with tell i kind of used tell as as a super sub or an impact player and really just using him as the role he was kind of meant to meant to have so to speak right so what i would say in this guy's um case in limer's case is box to box players such as bellingham borella and i would also still say the likes of kamavinga or shuamene or any of those guys that are either destroyers or anchorman or box to box they can just bring the ball forward and take the ball on. Bellingham, the free version of Bellingham, and Barella are both probably the best in the game at the moment. I would also say Pedri is a fantastic player, but he's down as a, a non-box-to-box. -box. So if I'm looking at Limer here, I'm looking at what makes him kind of tick, right? So I would be using him as a defensive-minded center midfielder. So if you're playing a 5-2-3 with a you know varied tree at the back formation, or you're playing a traditional 4-5-1 or a 4-4-2 or a 4-3-3, this guy is going to be an all-rounder, right? So once we get the pass into 83, that'll give us an 85 low pass stat with a manager boost of plus two with any of the good manager proficiencies such as Ten Hag, Guardiola, Xavi, Klopp, any of those, Cristo Valbueno, uh, any of those, right? Dribbling with this guy, we don't need it to be too high, right? So all we're going to do with him is to probably bring it up to the 78 mark for his ball control. That will give us the tight position. This is the weakest part of his card. And that's why I wouldn't use him as an attacking based option. I would use him as a center midfielder that's going to be a secondary defender in midfield. So as I said, similar to how like I would use the defensive build of Bellingham, which I have, I have featured in my card of Bellingham, right? Now this is where it kind of gets interesting with this card, right? Because straight off the rip, we're actually going to be able to get 85 acceleration and 85 speed very easily right that's also going to give us balance into the 84 mark which we're going to have 85 i'm still of the thought lads i'm still of the thought that 85 and 90 are the two best stat tiers in the game right obviously if you can get as many stats as possible into the 90 zone that's brilliant especially after 70 minutes in the game or if you're struggling to string passes together that can be a big concern and the more you have in this color, like this 90 is the best, right? But that's going to be very hard with a card like this, right? So what I would actually do is I'm going to probably just train him defensively to 88 aggression. That's going to give us pretty much every defensive stat into the 80s. And then also the aggression is going to be 90. And that's exactly what sums this card up. We want him to be physical. So we're going to pop two more onto his physical contact. We want him to be aggressive. We want to be chasing the ball around the place. We want him to be doing as much as we possibly can and getting the ball um, just literally back as much as we can so when you have here and you've got eight progression points you've eight into passing seven into dexterity three into lower body two into aerial and eight into defending i would either then put right depending on how you want to utilize him i would either put his dexterity up another three which would give you 86 acceleration and 87 balance with 75 offensive awareness or else if you're happy enough with his acceleration being 85 and his balance being 84 or 86 i would probably put it into his 
uh, aerial strength, right? What will happen is when you put this into his aerial strength, it'll mean that his physical contact will be 85 as well, right? So look at all the stats we have here. We're going to have low pass 85 with the boost, speed, acceleration, physical contact, balance, and of course, we're also going to have aggression, defensive engagement, all in a really nice spot, right? Now, if you're looking to play him as a kind of a varied attacking player, you can always just keep his aggression fairly high. I would still leave the aggression at maybe 83 there with that, right? And you're also going to get the boost to the defensive engagement. So even though you're going to be using him as an attacker, you will still be able to get him kind of, you know, pretty much buzzing around the pitch. And I would just probably boost up his dribbling to get 85 ball control. So then you'd have 85 ball control, low pass, speed, acceleration, and aggression, as well as physical contact, right? Even if you wanted to take that and make him a little bit more attacking, you could take that off and you could actually get the lower body up to be buzzing around the pitch with 90 speed and 95 stamina. So there's lots of ways that you can train this guy. I do think that it's a pretty decent card. Um, so let me know what you guys think of him. That is it for me. It's a freebie. Let me know what you guys think, and we'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.